In today's lecture, we are going to learn comparison counting sort. So this is the algorithm of that. So how it is working perfectly? I will explain you with example. Here is the array which is giving, and this is the index of the array. And here I have written that <coughs> for this loop that uh, when i value is 0 1 2 3 4 like this and initially count is 0 here as we are able to see here so first we will start with the uh, first we will see these two loops these two loops this is for j and this is for i this is inner and this is most inner root so i is starting from 0 to n minus 2 and j is starting from i plus 1 to n minus 1 so i plus 1 it means it is starting from 1 this is 0th element this is 1 element right so what is on 0th element? 62. What is on 1 element? 31. So we will compare both. <coughs> so we will see here. 62 is less than 31. No. Right? 62 is not less than 31. No. So what will increment? If it is less than, then we will increment J. If it is not less than, then what we are incrementing? I. So I will write I is equal to 1 here. Right? Now the next one is we'll check for next one second element we have checked first and the second and now we'll check first and the third element like this 0 and 1 then 0 and 2 0 and 3 0 and 4 0 and 5 for these two loop then again we will go here then i will increment by 1 so we will compare for the first element from second third fourth fifth like this it will go so here we are able to see <coughs> in this the first one i value is zero here right so we are comparing the first element and this will increment to this because this is the most inner loop so we are seeing that 62 is less than 31 right no so we will increment i now we will cross check that 62 is less than 84 yes so what will increment here j so j value is one here so on which position 84 we are having we are having on second position right so we will put on second position one what we will put at second position one we will whatever value of j is coming we will put uh, immediately after that but i value we will put at the end of the looping once we will complete this uh, entire loop then we will see what is the i value then we will put accordingly right because i value is zero here so for what we are comparing we are comparing the first element so as the algo suggests comparing uh, comparison counting sort so we will see that how many elements are less than that right so according to that we will uh, see what is the i value at the end of the loop then we will put there but <coughs> in j value for each and every element we are comparing and what is the j value if it is less than that then only j value is incrementing so for every element uh, whose value is greater than 62 we will put 1 on every loop so we will see here first again 62 is less than 31 no so i will increment 62 is less than 44 84 yes so j will increment so what is the j's position second position so we will put one over here now again we will check for the next one that 62 is less than 96 or not yes 62 is less than 96 so again j will increment by one so what is the 96 position 96 position is the third in the array so we will put on the third place one Initially, we have put the counter as 0 because in the algorithm it is given as 0. So, we have put everywhere 0. Now, we will see the next one. Next one element is 19, right? Because 31 we have checked, 84 we have checked, 96 we have checked. Now, we are checking for 19. So, we will cross check 62 is less than 19 or not. No, 62 is not less than 19. So, <coughs> earlier I value was 1. So, we are able to see every time if it is not less than, then counter will increment of I. So, because this is for entire loop. So every time i value will increment by 1. So initially i value was 1. Now i value will be 1 plus 1. So 2. Because earlier it is 1 in the same loop. Right. So now we will stop here. As I have said again. Because this loop is going on for the entire one. Because we are cross checking the first element with all the with all the element. And after at the end. When we reach at the end. So what is the value of i? We will put over here. But j value we are comparing for every element. So we are putting everywhere. Right. So again we will cross check. 62 is less than 47. Less than 47? Yes. Yes. No. Right? 62 is less than 47? No. So again, I value will increment by 1 because here I value is 2 and here I value is 3. Right? So and we have reached to end. So our first, this, I for I value 0, it is completed and for in inner loop J, 
we have completed all the elements we have cross check and we have put everywhere so at the end what is the value of i 3 so we are comparing all these things for 62 so we will put at the place of 62 3 what we will put we will put 3 over here right rest value will remain 0 so this is completed for this one now we will again see initially i value was 0 right now we are comparing for i value for 1 so this will go go here right so this value will increment upper loop um, the most outer loop so i value increment by 1 here i value was 0 we started from 0 now i value for 1 in this loop also and in this loop also so again we will start for the second element what is the second element 31 here so we will compare third with uh, second with fourth 31 is less than 84 yes so what will increment j value will increment j value will increment so what we will put here what we will put here we will put one here uh, so, but we are comparing for 84 right so 84 is on the second position and here already we have one already we have one so we will increment by one so what we will put here two here already we, we are able to see here 84 value is one here right for j so uh, now again for the second loop we are comparing 31 is less than 84 uh, yes so again j will increment because when is, it is less than so j will increment so earlier it was one so again it will increment by one so its value will be two now again we will compare 31 is less than 96 or not 31 is less than 96 yes so again j value will increment by one so 96 position already we have one so again it will increment by one so its value will be two now again we will see 31 is less than 19 <coughs> no 31 is not less than 19 so what will increment i value will increment so i value is one here till now right now we will see for next 31 is less than 47 yes right so what will increment j will increment so what is on the 47 47 is on the fifth position so what we will put here we will put one here what we will put we will put one here right so um, we have reached in the end but the thing is that here i value is one i value is one so what for what we are checking 31 so right so we will put at the 31 position one value what we will put one value right so for second loop it is over now i will cross check for the third when i value is two when i value is two right so what it will be we are cross checking for 84 right so 84 is less than 96 yes so what will increment j value will increment right 84 is less than 96 right so j value will increment so what is on the 96 96 is on the third position right third position so it will increment by one so we will increment by here one so its value will be three right so now we will see hmm, 84 is less than 19 no no so i value is increment by one then 84 is less than 47 no so i value will increment by one so its value is two right so now at the end we are able to see i value is two here <clears throat> and for what we are cross checking we are cross checking for 84 right so what is our here 84 and the second position right so its value is two here already but again we are getting i value is two so we will add two so its value will be four earlier it was two but again we are getting i value is two so it will increment by two so its value is four now right so uh, the i value for two loop is over now we will cross check for i value three we'll cross check for i value three here right so three is 96 right so we will cross check 96 is less than 19 no right so what will increment i value right so if it is not less than so i value is one right now we will cross check again 96 is less than 47 no so again i value will increment earlier was one now it will be two right so it is 2 now so what is on there is no j, j position right only i position so what is on the 96 position is 96 uh, position is uh, 3 right 3 here so now i value is 2 earlier it was 3 now it is 2 so what will it will be 3 plus 2 5 its value will be 5 right so now only one is left or uh, we are able to see when i value is 4 so what we are comparing now 19 right what is on the fourth position 19 so we will compare 19 is less than 47 yes 19 is less than 47 right yes right so what will increment j what will increment j j value is 1 here so uh, we are cross checking for 47 right 47 value is already 1 here so again we are getting 1 so what we will put we will put 1 plus 1 2 on this i is equal to fourth loop right like this 
सो नाउ वी कैन राइट ऑल द थिंग्स वॉट एवर वी आर हैविंग एट द एंड जीरो पोडिशन वॉट वैल्यू वी आर हैविंग थ्री वन पोडिशन वॉट वी आर हैविंग वन टू पोडिशन वॉट वी आर हैविंग फोर द लास्ट वन थर्ड पोडिशन वॉट वी आर हैविंग फाइव फोर्थ पोडिशन वॉट वी आर हैविंग जीरो फिफ्थ पोडिशन वॉट वी आर हैविंग टू सो दिस इज द एंड सो वी गेट ऑल द थिंग्स बाय कंपेरिजन काउंटिंग सॉर्ट सो दिस ऑल वी गेट नाउ वी विल सी हाउ वी विल राइट दिस नाउ वी विल सी हाउ वी विल राइट दिस वट एवर एट द एंड वी विल राइट दैट एट द एंड थ्री ओनली एट द एंड वन ओनली एट द एंड फोर ओनली एट द एंड फाइव ओनली एट द एंड जीरो ओनली बिकॉज देर इज नो मॉडिफिकेशन एंड एट द एंड टू ओनली सो वी विल राइट वट एवर एट द एंड वी विल राइट दैट वी विल नॉट राइट द मिडल वैल्यू सो नाउ वी विल सी हाउ वी कैन राइट सो यू आर एबल टू सी दैट सिक्सटी टू विच इज ऑन जीरो पोडिशन द वैल्यू इज थ्री द वैल्यू इज थ्री सो हाउ वी विल राइट इट वी विल सी हेयर नाउ वी विल सी हेयर सो सिक्स पोडिशन आर हेयर इन द एरिया सो आई एम मेकिंग इट हेयर सिक्स पोडिशन I am making it here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right. So uh, we are able to see here sixty-two is at zero position, but here its value is three. Here its value is three. So what we will put? We will put it at third position. Zero, one, two, three. Right. One. Ah, uh, yeah. Thirty-one is at one position, so we will write here at one position only. Thirty-one. Now eighty-four is on fourth position, so we will write it on fourth position. Right, ninety six is at fifth position, so we will write it at fifth position. Nineteen is at zero position, so we will write it at zero position. And forty seven is at second position, so we will write it at second position, like this. So now you are able to see we have done sorting by counting algorithm. So this is sorted array. This was not sorted array. This is sorted array which we have completed by the algorithm comparison counting sort. So this is all about for today lecture. If you like it, share it, subscribe. Thank you.